hello guys how is it going uh in this quick tutorial i wanted to show you how to partition your hard disk uh whether it is a sdd solid solid state of drive or hdd hard disk or drive uh, one is faster than the other one uh, most computers today use a ssd solid state of drive because of faster so uh, partition your hard disk uh, your hard disk is just the way to slice uh, one whole hard disk uh, in a multiple compartment so let's get into it and then i'll show you what i'm talking about okay you wanted to go to control panel first control panel here you go to system and security from here, I wanted to go to Windows of Tools. And here, you go to Computer Management. And uh, Disk Management here. Okay. Here, I have uh, two disks on my computer right now. The first one, which is Drive C, which is a main hard disk. And the second one is a uh, another solid state drive which I plug in um, is a one terabit and here you can see that uh, I have a multiple uh, partition on it uh, I'm going to go ahead and then uh, remove all of them let me start from secrets there's nothing inside that's why I don't I don't mind remove them uh, for the developer one I won't remove that one I have some coding project on it, so I'm going to keep it. But I'm going to work with uh, the two, 232 unallocated space. So from here, let me open my Explorer. That's one. That way we can follow along. Okay. Okay. Here, I just choose this one. Okay, okay, perfect. Okay. So I have uh, my drive C and then uh, D for my developer. Uh, let me take off this one. I can pull it offline, I pull it online, then you can see what happened. Okay. When I take it offline, you can see I don't have it here, so I can have access to it. But if I need it back, then I have to put it online. So when I go online, then here we go. Okay, let's go ahead and then partition this or slice or unallocate it. Okay, go ahead and then right click on it, and then you have a new partition. You click on that one, uh, new volume, please. Uh, new volumes, and then you go to next. Just give me the wizard to have this thing. So, I'm going to allocate the uh, uh, 50 gigabits, uh, which is around 50,000. Something 50,000. 50, I click on next. I'm going to give a letter E. I can change those letters uh, for something I want it, but I'll keep it. That's mine. Uh, here, I have a, okay. Here, be careful. Uh, let me explain. Uh, NTFS uh, is a new technology file system, and uh, most Windows computer can uh, read uh, uh, the hard disk away from this file system. But um, if you want to use uh, the partition on your Mac computer, like I do, so you wanted to choose a. Uh, uh, as a fact we stand for extended of file location table so for this video i'm going to use only the uh, ntfs so i'm going to delete it anyway so here you want to give a name you can keep a new doesn't matter but um, suppose that i'm going to put all of my college file on this uh, partition so i'm going to go with a college and uh, yeah quick format okay that's that's no big deal let's go ahead and then click next and uh, everything uh, is up uh, and then uh, finish okay the formatting the disk you can see it here and then boom 
here we go now i have my color partition which is right here i can open it and then i can put all my college file here any school project or anything then put it right here that way i don't have to go through this whole main file system before accessing my college file i can just go straight to my college desk and then you know, do whatever i wanted there and then that's it okay uh from here i can do a lot of fun things here too we can shrink the disk let me show you what i mean by shrinking okay what i mean by shrinking is that uh, uh i'm going to cut some or uh, uh like uh, if it's too large i can uh, just uh, slice a little bit so from here you right click on it right click and then you come to shrink volumes then click on that one okay so here it is asking is asking you uh, the amount you want to shrink from it uh that means just what uh, the amount you want to take off from uh, the disk uh, at the moment so let me just take off like a uh, 50 gigabit uh, gigabit or uh, which is a round of 50 uh 25,000 25,000 25, where to take off uh 25 gigabit on it so let me shrink it and here you can see that oh yeah it was a 48 before i don't know if you know this but now it's now 24 so i take off those of 20 25 which will reduce uh, the amount of uh, space and uh, I can extend it make it a little bit larger before I should shrink it and then we can make it a little bit larger again so go ahead and then right click on that one and then here you can see I have an uh, extend volume I have shrink here I'm not going to shrink I'm going to extend so I go to next uh, okay there we go Select the amount of a space. I'm going to add. Okay. Uh, from here, I'm going to add uh, the 25 I take off before. 25. Uh, put them back again. Okay. Want to click next, and then you can see I get back up to my 48 as before. This is still unallocated. I can create another partition here too. Let's go to new partition and uh, let's create like a 10 gigabit space here, which is around 10,000. Click on this. Um, letters, you know what? I don't know, letter on it. Do not assign the letter to it. Just click on it. Here, I want to be able to yeah to be able to read it from my uh from my mac system so i want to choose part 32 which uh, i can read it from my my mac os computer here we go and uh this one let's name it secret so you know everybody likes secret so i'm going to create a little secret here okay so I'm going to put my secret data here. I don't know I'm, what I'm going to put on it. I don't know. Maybe some personal file. No one can access them. Okay, click next. And then, okay, you can see right here, I have my secret file. And uh, I still have also a mount on unlocated, so I can shrink this one, make it a little bit larger. larger. Oh, no. maybe my my secret data will be a little bigger uh, later on i don't know but i still have an unallocated space here i can still keep creating another one create them until my unallocated uh, run out so i can create uh, a lot of slice here but okay i think uh, that will be it uh, in next video i will show you how to put a little uh, uh encrypt those files on it you can see here look at the main file system uh, this is a windows 10 uh, windows 11 so i have uh, a little more features uh, i believe uh, windows 10 pro do have it too but i'm not so sure but windows 11 do have it so 
you can see I have a little lock on it so we can encrypt all of those files too that way uh, to uh, this so if I unplug it and then unplug my Mac uh, computer they will going to ask me for a password before I can read the file inside it and uh, yeah I think that will do it for this video so for the next one I'm going to use I'm going to encrypt those files and I will show you how those things work okay I think that will do it for this video uh, thanks for your time and uh, if you like it please uh, smash the like, the like button and then uh, subscribe for the next uh, upcoming video thank you bye bye